Today we're going to be installing a USB port inside of this second generation Tacoma. This truck originally doesn't have any USB charging ports. This is actually my sister's truck and currently she has the cigarette lighter option for charging her phone. Now there are a number of options here. There is a switch blank port here where we can install a USB port. However, she keeps her phone on the right side here so we considered mounting a USB port here inside of this uh, little plastic trim here but uh, decided ultimately to put it in here so we're gonna drill a hole here and then she's gonna have her phone sitting here the cable is gonna come down here and it's gonna plug into here so we're gonna go ahead and get that started this is the USB port that she selected And currently looking at the wiring, it's got the simple red and black. The ends of these already have terminals. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep the black terminal the same, but we're going to chop off the, um, the red one and connect it to an ATA circuit. So first things first, these two terminals get connected to the back ports. There is a positive and a negative. Red's going to go here and then the black one's going to go here. So we're going to connect it. First thing we're going to take off this tray and you just squeeze the sides there's two tabs on the side and it comes out and then you'll see on the back of this is actually the fuse diagrams and we'll take a look at that later but for now we have access to our fuses right there next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this out there's a little section of plastic trim that we need to pull open that's going to reveal a bolt we're going to undo that bolt and then we're going to pull out this uh, piece right here. Uh, this will be our grounding screw actually. You'll be able to pull this straight out. And it's held by four clips. Alright, so here is the black terminal, this is the red terminal. You can tell because this has the inline fuse attached to it. If you open this up, there is an inline fuse right here. So I'm going to take my wire cutter, just making sure this is the red. I'm going to cut this off. Now we're going to take some wire stripper and connect this Add a circuit. This is the low profile mini blade add a circuit. So then we got wire. This is actually made to crimp. So this is going to go inside here. This is going to make a metal connection. There's contact there and in order to secure the connection we're going to take our crimping tool which is the end of this wire cutter so in order to make a more secure connection uh, I want to solder this together with the ATA circuit so right now we have cut the red end of the wire and then I've cut the um, other end on the ATA circuit and I've pre-attached uh, a heat shrink tube to this side so that once we make this connection we can just cover this up so uh, right now the soldering iron is getting heated up and then once that gets going we'll solder these two together what I like to do is that I like to cross these wires in sort of an X shape and then kind of twist them together before I add the solder So now that they're inter intertwined, we'll use the solder to secure the connection.
So now that that connection is made, I'm just going to give it a little tug. It seems pretty secure. I'm going to move the shrink tubing over and then heat it up. So now we have our power connection with the out of circuit. We're going to go ahead and bring it back to the truck and add the fuse. So right now we're going to make a pilot hole in the center of this little plastic trim piece here. Next we're going to take our Christmas tree bit in order to widen the hole a little bit bigger. So I'm going to place it on the chuck. So at this point we have some plastic uh, edges here that we need to trim down to make flush so that we can uh, continue to make the hole bigger and also whenever this locking ring uh, gets screwed in tight on the back it'll allow it to sit flush so we're going to remove these two plastic uh, pieces with a dremel. Now that the, uh, the two plastic pieces are gone, we're going to continue on with widening the hole just a little bit more. Okay. So yeah, now it fits. Now we're just going to clean up some of the plastic trim back there and then we're going to tighten the ring in the back. Alright, so now that I have this USB port connected and secured in the back, I'm going to go ahead and replace this pocket here. And I'm going to feed the wiring through the hole. It's going to make its way over here. And the red wire is going to go over here to the fuse panel. And the black is going to get screwed in with the uh, grounding screw once that gets replaced. Okay, so I fed the wiring through and now I'm just going to snap these four clips back into place. This black grounding wire is going to get connected to this grounding screw here and I can feel it on the other end so I'm going to insert it there. Okay, now this red wire is going to get run underneath the dash over here. So now that we've got the grounding wire connected, the only thing left to do is to add the fuse and place it in the fuse block. So we're going to go in this slot, the 7.5 ACC, and what we're going to need to do is pull out the existing fuse. And it's going to go in here. Grab another 7.5 amp fuse. Place it in the second slot. Now we're going to plug this back in. So now we've got the add a circuit connected so 
And now we're just going to turn on the key ignition in the ACC position. And there it is. So one cool thing about this is that it has a built-in voltmeter and an on-off button switch. And as far as I know, this Tacoma doesn't have a voltmeter. So this is one extra thing that's just kind of an added bonus here. So here's a final look at the full setup here. We've got the phone charging on the AC vent. Got the little charging port down there. And it's nice and clean. We tuck up this little wiring here. Put this little pocket back into place. Now everything is nice and neat again. And that's it. Hope you guys found this helpful for all you second gen Tacoma owners out there. If you have a need for a USB charging force, this is one potential place to install it. Hope you found that helpful and I'll catch you on the next video.